Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Now we are going to take forward our Android N Material Design tutorial series. In previous tutorial, we have seen about the color palette and the application what I am going to develop in this module. But there are many modules in this tutorial series. So the first module is development of toolbar and navigation drawer. So let's come back to the icon of a material design. So in previous tutorial we have left here. So in icon you can see here geometry and the colors etc are defined by Google. So it says that as per the Google standard, if icon is active and the focused, its opacity must be 87% and the product icon must be 48 dp and the system icon must be 24 dp. So let me show you what, the, what does it mean. So if you come to the, this design, so this is a system icon, this search toolbar and this cart but if you click on the drawer navigation bar so these icons are product icons so size of these icons are 48 dp and the size of these two icons are 24 dp And if icon is active and unfocused, its opacity must be 54%. And if icon is inactive, its opacity must be 38%. So this is all about the light background. And on the dark background, active and the focused icon must be opacity with 100%. And active and unfocused must be with 70%. And in active icons must have at least 50% opacity. So if you see here, there are many icons. So there are two types of icons, either you can use for a product or for system. So if you see this one, this is a standard Gmail icon. And this is a product icon. How you, will, you can use this as a system icon also right so if you see here how they have designed it right here is a material prototype and here is a color study so what they have done here they have taken this dark red color of border with a particular width of that border now let's come to the product icon grid so these are the greeting techniques. How do you want to set your product icon? Now let's come to the main point. There are many features here for product icon. You can visit those features. And let me show you the list of icons. So here are the uh, here are the techniques. How do you want to design? Right? See, for human icon rule. So this is for general human icons. Don't do you know the much designing techniques, otherwise that would not convey a meaning. And do use only a curved edges for visual balance. And don't use the circular arm, etc. Okay. And here are the material system icons. So you can export these system icons from vector assets of a Android Studio. There are many design principle techniques, simple and here is intuitive, actionable and consistent, right. So these are the some other features of Android material icon. Now let me take you to the next one, that is the imagery. 
if you come into this section imagery section you see there are many type of images right and then these images you can use with a very doc a very decorative form okay such as avatars and the thumbnail hero images and the gallery images you can use these images like this one something like this one that's mean on the above of image you can draw your transparent action bar a toolbar and then you can put their system icons you can add images like this one right so these images if you see are really very beautiful okay so this will be we will be discussing all those things throughout this video tutorial series and if you come into the typography if you see in typography there are many type of typography such as a bar buttons subheadings so if you see here into the app bar uh, the title style is medium 20 sp and the button medium 14 sp all caps and the subheading is regular 16 sp on the device and 15 sp on the desktop body one regular 14 sp and 13 sp on the desktop so these are the standard if you design your application based on these standards definitely your application look stunning and android material design uses roboto font and here is roboto fonts sample regular sample a thin bold italic normal bold a condensed one light italic okay so you can see here how you will you can change as per your wish but try to stick with the android designing techniques if you really want to develop a professional application layout so in the layout if you see here principal unit measurements and matrix key line responsive ui and split screens we will be taking these layouts the components such as the buttons card chips data tables dialog dividers grid list 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 controls menu pickers you know all those things okay in our this tutorial series if you come into the pattern data format empty states errors fingerprints you know the gestures loading images navigation navigation drawer a tool bar scrolling techniques search selections in growth communications introductions onboarding you know so we'll be going through in very detail in this tutorial series so introduction of the material design theme ends here in the next tutorial i'll be creating a new application in which i'll be describing how you can customize your material theme in your application so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one please subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox i'll be making many more videos and you will be getting all updates directly into your inbox so thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye bye